All right, they chose Pokemon Stadium. Those. Ooh, a Roy besides myself in uh, Poké Stades against Fox. It seems. So, is B Ross gonna win with his? What is what is where does Roy get his sword from? Ian? Um. Well, uh, if you ask me, I'd say he would. Um. He is holding the uh, sword of Nisasius, which is um. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but uh, Nisasius was a um a warrior who uh. Well, he wasn't a great warrior or anything, but he was just sort of there, <laughs> and um. But he made the sword one day, uh, jeez, I don't, I don't know, man, I need more time for this. It, well, okay, so we'll, we'll go with, it's on fire? Yeah, yeah, he like... So, so, it, let's call it the sword of, uh, the sword of... I think Nisasius is a pretty appropriate name. Okay, um, sword of Nisasius, <laughs> made by a guy who comes from, let's say, uh, Gibraltar. Um, yeah. Um, there. There we go. Yeah. Some guy from Gibraltar. Gibraltar was <laughs> a um, a distant planet. Um, it was actually uh, pretty close to uh, Albatross, but um, unfortunately they were enemy planets, and so um, Nisasius created a sword in order to um, fight back against Albatross. Uh, but you see, he was not able to, uh, wield it because, um, because, uh, I don't know, he was, like, scared or something, so he gave it to, um, his brother, Roy, <laughs> and, uh, as you can see, he's using it to, uh, battle this fox right now, um, and fox is, okay, well... Yeah, there's a fight happening right now, so... They're just beating um, the shit out of each other. Just just watch as his sword, like, continuously slashes away at the fox's limbs, and the fox just... The fox is just beating the shit out of it with, like, electric lightning hexagons. Yes, hexagons are, uh, very magical and stuff. Ow, that probably hurt. Um... So, we have fox being an asshole because... Goddamn fucking shine is a piece of shit. Wow. You know what? If you if that's what you think, then maybe you're just bad at video games. Fuck melee. <laughs> I said it on stream. You have it. Well, I think uh, maybe some viewers would be very happy with what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty even right now. Um, there's an actual fight happening now that okay well the fight's pretty much over Ooh, now that we're done takes... talking about our mythologies and stuff right, it so... looks like roy won which is quite a surprise because after all this is melee and um <sighs> roy's a terrible character yeah. obviously i mean not as bad as marth mind you but uh he's quite down there Oh, looks like he's using Fox again. He's selecting Fox over and over again. And, uh, Burn is using Solid Snake this time. Burn! <laughs> or if you prefer... Solid... <laughs> snake. <laughs> You're close enough. B-Rods is about to, uh... b uh, b b b rod <laughs> That... <laughs> Uh, uh, well said. Alright, so we have Fox being, again, an asshole just with those goddamn fucking shines. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's shined yet, or shown. He, he yet. shined three times. I, I didn't even see it. That's just because how fucking fast it is. Well, it looks like a bad start for, um, Caterpie. I mean, uh, Snake. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess he's still cooking. He hasn't died just yet. And Snake is pretty fat, so I think it, it will um, not be so easy to uh, KO him, mayhaps. Oh, and Fox makes a rookie mistake of running onto a landmine. Oh, yes. Classic mistake. Uh, he's just planting more and more mines all over the place. So, what, do you, what kind of landmine do you think Snake uses? Um... 
Well, I think they were uh, landmines bestowed upon him. Uh, well, actually, you see, they're both fighting on planet Albatross once again. Um, but this time, it's a, uh, it's a little different. Um, I guess they're like fighting because pride. I have to like write out a script or something next time I do this. Um, well, they're fighting on Albatross to decide the uh, fate of the universe due to the uh, Upaku Alliance Treaty signed by King, the King of Albatross and uh, the Metal Gears. Yes, um, and I guess because um, since previously Marth had already died here on his home planet, uh, Snake is out to uh, get revenge on Fox, uh, even though it was... Lucas that killed him. <laughs> you see, it's a very complicated lore. You know what? This should. Oh my God, that was not a... okay. Well, I guess um, B Rods is a very honorable gentleman, it seems. Then he plays no. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's. I'd say. Uh, well, I don't know. He is Snake after all, but I give him great respect for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we got blowing up, we got people dying, we got everything all over the place. Oh yes, well, that was not an optimal move, I think. Uh, yeah, blowing yourself up is definitely not the good, best option, unless of course you're Snake and you're off the ledge. Yes, but can Snake get revenge? It looks like he's trying to get inside, it seems. Um, and as this is, oh. Oh. Snake's taking the lead there. I did always prefer his um, Snake's forward smash in Brawl. I mean, it's. I guess this one is maybe better, IDK, but just the um, the rocket right in front of them was pretty cool. I prefer the knife combo, to tell you the truth. Just because it's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, I've knife now. Yes, I guess so. That is an impressive. Uh, oh, oh, we all saw it coming. Uh, just Snake getting tossed into his own landmine. Is this going to take go to game three? Or is B-Rod's going to be able to beat the shit out of... Oh, oh. Oh, man, he was trying to do an upper thrust while he was asleep, but it didn't quite work out there. Oh, oh. man, slashing and slashing and hacking. Uh... And he's kicking. They're both kicking a lot. Uh, what's going to happen? This is a really um, close oh, fight happening right oh. now, viewers. He's uh, planning a landmine for maybe in a uh, attack in the future. But oh man, that was a deadly kick by Fox, and that and decided the fight. So then it is 1 1 for both of our players currently. He yeah. Took, yeah. And then he almost won the second one. They okay. did both uh, kill themselves. Um, Snake probably didn't have to kill himself for that fight, but I guess that definitely made a difference in the outcome. Maybe. All right, now we got a cheap, I don't know. Uh, game. Get, no, uh, game and watch. Yeah. GMW versus a fox going on. Now this is, this is even more, um, it looks like uh, B-Rods is using the uh, oddball cares here. First Roy, then, I, well, is Snake oddball? I don't know. But um, Roy is definitely like a misfit, I'd say, and so is um, especially Mr. GW. And he's pink, no less, because he's representing what is right in uh, GW land, I think. He's uh for he, he's he's obviously non -bull, not bullying. Huh? Yeah, that, that standing is up to bullies like Fox because fucking Shine is like an aggressive. Next time when I Oh man, that was a really deadly destructo disc that uh, Mr. Game and Watch used. And he's really uh going for the uh, parachute. It's quite a uh, oh man. That down smash gets him and just just, just rockets Fox to the other side of the universe. 
Yeah, Game & Watch does have a lot of Devastators, it seems. I did used to play him a lot, but much to my, uh, I, I'm not even on the camera, but, uh, much to my, uh, my comrade's dismay. Um, so I, I guess I gave it a rest. But, um, another, um, another secret in the uh, Smash Balls universe here is that, um, Mr. Game & Watch is actually made of albatrossium. <laughs> so I think that will give him quite the advantage in this fight. But uh, who knows what um, what kind of metal Fox's legs are made of. The world may never know. See, I think this is exactly why they should have made another Subspace Emissary. And they really could have gone into depth with this. I should have been the one to write it. Why didn't Nintendo <laughs> hire me? They will want to after they see this, because they totally will. Of course, they're monitoring all Project M just to make sure none of it's, like, offensive. Because they'll have to remove it eventually. Yeah, that that is quite true. And uh, Game & Watch, this stock hasn't seemed to land it. Oh, there we go. Uh, just as you said it. And, um... It looks like uh, Burn is um, doing lots and lots of down tilts. That is uh, quite a um, a good move as a GW, I would say. Um, that is why I call it the uh, Destructo Disc, after all. But oh. oh, he just got kicked by a leg and died. Yes. Not permanently though, because he still has one stock remaining. It seems. Um, so, so do you think the characters are like brought back to life when they die or or is it just like an infinite number of clones that you're allowed to summon from the everlasting pit of Satan and hell? Oh, well, I'm not sure. I just sort of assumed that they get knocked out into space and then that sort of like there's just this little UFO that brings them back. Um, they're never actually dead, they're just forced to, um, suffer eternal pain without the, uh, release of death. Um, but that's getting into some, uh, grim territory, which, uh, the viewers may not be so happy about. But that's just a, uh, theory, uh, as to what actually- A game actually, theory. Yes. That is just a game theory as to what actually happens. Um, and it looks like those people in the background are the, uh, citizens of this, um, Smashville, but, uh, if, if I were to ever, uh, play, um, Animal Crossing, I would definitely name the town Albatross, but we'll save that for another time, because the 